Hey, I'm doing something I usually, well, I shouldn't say this, every once in a while. Ooh, hey, what the heck? Hey, but every once in a while, it's messy too. I shook this thing, put it over there. Oh my goodness. It's chocolate milk. I usually don't do, well, I don't do milk at all. When I, was, I was lacto intolerant. I was lactose intolerant when I was a kid, and they had to give me like goat's milk or something like that. I drank. I didn't drink cow's milk. And, I, and when I, in fact, when I was in, um, when they first started the, um, the little green market thing in, in Union Square Park in, 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 in New York, they had people who came with real milk, you know, without the pasteur. Like this is some pasteurized, you know, whatever, um, flavored, all the kind of junk in it. Well, when they did that, I had real, like I had real chocolate milk. Man, that sucker went, <sighs> no problem, ripped right through my system, cleaned me right out. So every once in a while, I will take something that's not good for me. I like chocolate, sorry about that. Dark chocolate, the better. You know, first, usually with this stuff, I, I add chocolate to it. You know, <laughs> not messy stuff. All right, anyway, mm. I still like it. But here's the thing. A lot of times, I mean, what, what I learned when I travel is basically this. Don't shut yourself off from anything. One time I went to, I was in Brazil, right? I actually, actually was in Brazil. To, well, I don't know how it happened, but I was going to Brazil for, for, for a couple of weather, you know, uh, thing, you know, with was shot. Job around the, the couple of weather in, in South of the Bahia. Real, the, the, the angle, angleros, you know, the angle. Capoeira Angola, you know, down to the ground, not the head now, you know, they're spinning up and all. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. But I ended up somehow, I was with a, a bunch of uh, middle class um, black people from Washington, D.C. You know, I guess if the flight was, I don't know, how, however it was. Anyway, one of the people was uh, was uh, was Miss Gregory, um, um, uh, Dick Gregory's uh, daughter, you know. She, she seemed to be having a little trouble there. I mean, I didn't bother anyway. I didn't bother her. I didn't, talk, I didn't even talk to her, you know. I don't even know if I said hello to her. Maybe I just said hello because it's part of her group. But, you know, she seemed kind of troubled, so I leave, leave her alone, you know. I don't like messing with people who. I don't like messing with celebrities, actually. Anyway, it's not celebrity. But one of the things, one of the things I learned in that, in that thing, oh, somebody's calling you, baby? No? Okay, never mind. Throw somebody outside. Sorry. We live in a neighborhood where people just call, yell. You know, anyway, uh, but, then, but, but, but in that in that trip, right? Um, I realized that um, uh, these middle class people were kind of really, really interesting. Uh -uh. Baby, go out there and talk to them. I'm talking to the people. Uh -uh. Anyway, what I realized. Sorry for the interruption. What I realized is these middle class people were very, very interesting, right? One, one, one of the people in the group was, was the head of a school, a private school. He was a black guy, and he never, he wouldn't talk to any white person. Fascinating to me. It was fascinating to me. I didn't follow him around or anything like that. But a lot of these folks, they were like middle class black folks, and they, they, would, they would be dripping, they, they'd have their rings on and their gold or whatever have you, you know, and they would go and start bargaining with the people in Bahia, you know, now you can imagine somebody selling their little thing on the thing, and you're over there bending over with your gold chains, you know, you know, hanging down, and that one gold chain could feed that family for a year. And you're trying to, you know, bargain with some sort of African bargain, you know, Brazilian bargaining with him for, to lower his price? blew my mind. Yeah, why even we okay, anyway. But one of the things that happened to um, most of the people for some reason most of the people were we were all vegetarians. Maybe that's how we got together. We're all vegetarians. Now, we went to this place, Cachoeira, outside of uh, outside we at this place we were sitting down and I was sitting next to one of the local Brazilians, you know, we blah chit chat and whatever have it. And so he said, Do you want to try some of our local meat? You know everybody does. I said, Well sure Take a little piece of meat. Dup, 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 dup. All the other people, you know, they're, oh, they're vegetarians. They don't do meat. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you something. I was the only person on that trip that didn't get sick. Go figure. I don't know. But after I left, you know, because I never got sick. People get Montezuma's revenge in Mexico. I've been in Mexico. I never got sick in Mexico. Anyway, I wanted to 
Let's talk about something else. Um, this is uh, I don't have the notion, but there's this thing about, like I said, about spirituality. But I, I sort of look at, at at movements. You know what I mean? I look at, at systems and stuff like that. Um, I, I try to feel. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of weird and airy fairy, but what is someone trying to say? I try to feel what's going on. And let me take you back a few years. I think it's 2005. Whenever we'll in fact, I showed you this before. Um, I was a, uh, I was a, I had visit New York and at the time I came it was like a, a like a, a few weeks before Occupy Wall Street you know that's where I got these two things it's uh just an Occupy Wall Street button like that right? and then I have also had this other one this is what I like uh, Occupy Wall Street we are the 99% join us economic justice that's my favorite button I keep that one all the time let me put these two right here so you might may or may not pick it up who knows you know if you're interested in it okay but also in that trip you know they they, they had all kinds of really interesting initiatives you know let me show you one thing one second let me just show you one thing show you show you show you show you show you show you hit my uh, thing down here you stay right there for a second ah okay so much it's not a vision board but it's like a thing that's exercise that you do where you um, just rim, you pull stuff out of a out of a, um, a magazine and put it together. So this has a lot of stuff that and Meg Lisa wraps the over here. But a lot of stuff that's in my life that whatever alters your anyway, bunch bunch of stuff. Um, you know, Conclave, uh, Radio, blah blah, Cape Codes, uh, Adasa, bunch of stuff. You know, and this is all access past the Pan African Space Station. You know, there's the little normal normal radio thing. Anyway, it's there. But look what I have in the back. One of the bumper stickers. One of the bumper stickers. Also in the back there. So I put that in the back as a backing. But the reason why Occupy Wall Street is sort of interesting. Let me put it down here so I don't take it up. Oops, sorry. Occupy Wall Street is sort of interesting. It's because it was a really fascinating initiative. You know, so a lot of people, you know, um, uh, uh, Chris Hedges was there, you know, Cornell West. But I even saw uh, Jay Z and, and, and Kanye roam in the crowd, whatever. So. Anyway, uh, but one of the initiatives, one of the initiatives I did was I wanted to. I had heard this. Uh, my, I guess my great grandfather. I keep on saying great great grandfather. This is my great grandfather, and his brother. Some somebody in the family used to uh, walk from the Battery. You know, Wall Street's down down on Wall Street, but the, the Battery is like over to the West Westboro. Walk from the Battery all the way up to Harlem. You know, they used to do that all the time. It's a long walk. Whatever. whatever. And so I wanted to, this is my, I want to do a silent, I want to do a silent day. And I had a sign, you know, about, about uh, you know, Occupy Wall Street. And I walked from 155th Street at Sugar Hill. 155th Street. The reason why I started there is because that's where the cadet court was right there between uh, Broadway and Amsterdam, uh, Presbyterian, whatever that church is. There's a building there. And that's where, where I spent a lot of my childhood, you know. So I started from there and I walked down to the to the drive, you know, uh, to, the, to the west side there, and then I just walked all the way down, all the way down to Wall Street. Walk. Some people were supposed to join me, but I walked so fast that they couldn't they couldn't find me. But it was a, it was an interesting time because you would have these little, little meetings or whatever have you. People get up their ideas. Of course, you, you know, you always say, oh, there's some agent in there, but you know, it was things against that, you know. So it was a very fascinating thing. Now, what the for instance here's what the police, what the police did. You learn a lot about travel. But the police did, they would go, they would find like homeless people or schizo, you know, people, and they would say, oh, why don't you go down over there? And they would, police would send people down to to occupy Wall Street. I think it's a, on, on my channel somewhere, there's, you, I have I have videos there. If you look at the channel, I don't know, YouTube still has, I don't know what they do with this kind of stuff. Anyway, so I, I bring that up just to say, well, this is what I feel. I feel like at times movements come together, but they don't include everybody all the time. It's just very, very interesting. I always show you this thing here. Like, to me, one of the most significant things that happened in recent years was, I was fascinated when it first happened, when they first announced Black Panther, you know, the, the picture coming out. Wow, this is fascinating because I, I know the comic book culture. I'm not in. I'm not a nerdy with it, but I know these cultures. And so all that I felt that people is an intergenerational thing was was really happening. It was a thing that you could 
bring your whole family to it. So people galvanize against it. Of course, as you did that, there was people sniping and whatever have you. And I was always thinking like, yeah, but this is a movement. Don't you get, if you get used to doing movements. So, I'm, so what I'm trying to say, you have the Occupy movement that includes some, some people, not a lot of black people in that, in that which partook. partook. Right? So that was a movement for, 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 for economic justice, right? Then you have this cultural, let's call it a cultural thing, you know, with, with, with Black Panther. And, and I saw all these people coming together. And it was not just, uh, uh, you know, people in, in America, but all over the world. And the fascinating thing about the cast was so diverse and whatever have you. But they were doing a, a, a cultural thing, right? Then, so I felt it, and I, and I really jumped in that. I mean, I mean, I have a whole series on Wakanda and blah, blah, blah. I did a lecture at, at Rhodes University. It doesn't matter. The point is, uh, so when when ADA was, was first hitting, I had been following, you know, I had I'd been following Army first, because it's kind of funky, like that, and I had been following um, uh, Yvette for a long time, ever since she had that dust up with the Farrakhan people, right? Or on Boyce's channel, and then I followed together, and then finally in the new in in incarnation with, with uh, you know, with Breaking, well, Breaking Brown family, blah, blah, blah. And, and you know, of course, uh, uh, Antonio Moore comes on board. Okay, so uh, so when this thing, when the first ADO thing started happening, I said, this is important. This is amazing. I mean, immediately I cut through all the stuff and said, this is the movement. I'm I've been involved in so many, I can't even explain to you how many, from, from from 1963 on, <laughs> I've been following so many uh, black nationalists. You know, you know. Here's a, let me tell you a funny story. I'm sorry, I'm taking a little long. I, I wanted to be short, but I have to tell you this thing. You know, when a nation, you know, when 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 uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad passed and and, and it went over to Wallace Steve, you know, the nation did what it did, right? A lot of people from uh, a lot of the people that, that went away from the nation went to Orthodox uh, uh, Islam. I mean, they would, they would be, it's still in the neighborhood scouring you. So one, one time, some guy came up to me and said, now you should blah, 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 and you're trying to convert me to Islam. I said, well, he says, and, uh, and I said, what does this entail? I said, well, you have to change your name, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I said, well, what might I be? And so he gave me some name, and then he said, I said, well, I understand this, but what's this last part here? He said, that means you belong to, you know, this, actually it was this, this person, rather, I don't even think it was a tribe, it was like this person from this, this lineage. And I'm going like, nah, I don't want it. I'm not into it, you know. Because, I mean, I have my own lineage. Why am I going to abandon my lineage and my bones to, to, to go over to somebody else's clan or whatever happened and have to learn all, you know what I mean? Because I grew up a certain way and da 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 Even though I, even my travel, I'm not the same South Bronx kid, you know what I mean? Or even the same, you know, whatever I was today because I... Just somebody, everything influences you. In fact, one time, I told this story one time, somebody was talking to somebody, I said, well, you're a socialist. And I said, no, I'm not a socialist, I'm an Anthony. <laughs> you are who you are, right, and all these things. So you're only, you're only as good as you're informed to be, okay? And you can read books all you want, and that's fine. But I'm telling you, the best way to learn is you got to travel, you got to talk to people, you got to travel, you got to talk to people, you got to travel, you got to travel. And when you travel, you're gonna meet somebody at your own level. Okay, so I say this to bring up this whole thing, is that I'm fascinated at all these other movements that have been going on for 100 years, 50 years, whatever they've been going on, you know what I mean? I'll take an easy one, like, 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 like say, the Congressional Black Caucus. They don't have an agenda for reparations. Well, I'm saying agenda, I'm not just talking about some resolution, I'm talking about, um, they don't have to, they've been alone for so, so long, you know? So now, here comes ADOS with an agenda, and they're saying, oh, it can't be done. Weird. It's weird to me. You know, or, or I don't want to pick on it, but let me just say, or even say, say the Pan Africans, who, who's, who's over 100 years ago, if you go back to Blyden and whatever, have you remember that's a movement born in the United States? Right? They're complaining about this and that, going like, wait a second, but that's the, you've been here for 100 years. What you, do your mission. Why are you jumping off your mission to, to, to did you jump off your mission to beat up on the NAACP, which is basically your ace? Pick somebody your own age. Did you jump off your mission to, 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 to beat up on uh, Cobra? You know, did you bump, bump, jump off your mission to, to, to beat up on CORE or Urban League or whatever have you? Uh, did you do that? So why are you jumping off your mission to attack ADUS? Nobody's ADUS is not taking anything from you. You could be ADUS and still be a Pan-Africanist. You can, you can. It's just that right now you're sort of busy with the ADUS because it's da da da. Then maybe that's... Uh, all I'm trying to say, you can feel a movement, and 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 I think and, and what people keep on missing, and, and it's it's so evident, 
Yeah, but how come you wasn't like the Chinese? How come you're not like the the, the, the Indians or the, or the or the you know the Africans that come over here or the in, whoever you know Indians the dots and the feathers? Why come you not like them? Because we never named ourselves correctly. That's the point. The difference between this movement and every other movement I've ever seen is that there's this group of people just floundering, floundering, and getting beat on and preyed upon and set us, you know, everything, whatever people, oh, we wasn't here for slavery, yeah, but but but, but, your, but your people that were here before, when we were trying to get the, you burned us out, you, you attacked, you keep on attacking us to this day, and, and it's funny thing, is because people now, okay, forget all that stuff, the point really is, when we named ourselves American descendants of chattel slavery, we got a bunch of it's an accurate name. That's why it's, you, you, the reason why you get this response is because people know, hey, that's right. That's what I am. And once you know who you are, then you start dealing. You know, you once you know you who you are, you know. Oh, hey, if I got a pick, if I got a pick, an axe because of my lineage, I know how to use this axe. It's in my DNA. <laughs> you know what I mean, if I gotta, if I have to suffer and drink chocolate milk, wait, well, yeah, I'm drinking it because no, because it's medicine to me. It rips, it rips through my system. Not this one. It's all pasteurized or whatever. It's just a drink. Huh? If I, if I, if I, if I, if I, now I have a way of where I'm going. And now, that now we've correctly. Here's the trick. We've correctly identified our landmass. We're Americans. This is where we belong. We, I can go any place in the world, but I'm still. An American, a descendant of chattel slavery, and I'm owed a debt from America, which which I'm a American. The, the best way I put it is, I said this in another video. ADOs wraps ourselves in American flag. Not like oh, the American flag, what it did to us, but the American flag didn't do nothing to you. The American flag allow people, uh, other Americans, set upon you. You still have a claim to that American flag, and you could you say American flag? You see what you did? You, 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 uh, second off, you did this? Well, now you got to make it right. And American flags, what the American flag is going to argue, argue with, against itself? American flag can argue against some, some flag made up by, you know, some, some black liberation flag. It's another flag. American flag can argue against um, uh, a Pan African flag or a rock, whatever. You can argue against that. But how is the American flag going to argue against itself? It can't. That's the point. That's the difference. That's why this movement is is different than any other movement we've ever had, including the movement, the abolitionist movement. All, all those movements had included white people or whatever have you, never identifying us exactly what we were. We were ex-slaves, you were enslaved, you were, you know, child, whatever you were. That's what's so important. Right? And I don't think, I don't understand why people don't get that. I don't understand why you don't get that. You know, you could be a Pan Africanist or whatever have you, and still be and, and still be and, 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 and be in England. You could be you know, you could be Pan Africanist and, and, and be in Gabon. You could be a Pan Africanist and, and, and be in India. You know, but that doesn't stop you from being Indian, <laughs> or if you want to be English or Gabonese. You know, it doesn't stop you from these kind of things. So that's why this is is. All these people talking about this, I mean, people just run off the mouth. I just don't understand. I really don't understand. And I'm trying to understand me, me understanding me, being T from the Patterson's taking the trenches to bed. Let you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADUS, American descendant of child slavery, a movement worthy. Hasn't come this way ever. This movement hasn't come this way ever. Know that. We are unique, unique time frame.